This segment brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Good morning, I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And this is Around Kansas. Happy so, George Washington's birthday. Yes, George. George. I grew up in Virginia, so I, um, of course, very proud of George Washington. And I actually, Frank, believe it or not, I was gifted um, and modest, too. And so um, <laughs> when I was in high school, I went to, as one of my recommendation letters said, the governor, the governor's gifted school or something. I forget how he said it, but anyway, every state has this gifted program, you know, and it was really wonderful. But I got to go to Mary Washington College, and Mary Washington, of course, was the president's mother. So her maiden name was Ball. So we roomed in Mary Ball Hall, and there were, the girls stayed in there, and there was a beautiful marble statue of her in the entryway. And so my roommate and I, Lisa uh, Hardy, uh, being equally gifted and irreverent, we would go down and we would decorate the statue <laughs> of Mary Ball Hall. Of course, nobody knew it was us, and nobody suspected me because I was such a nice girl. So nobody uh, suspected me of this. And we would put makeup on her. Sometimes we'd put underwear on her, you know, bras and girdles and stuff. And we'd put thought bubbles. Like we put, um, we'd draw on um, poster board, you know, kind of tape. Of, and every day the um, powers that be would come downstairs and they'd be horrified that somebody had taken the figure of the president's sainted mother and done this. And yeah, it was. <laughs> Oh, my. My sordid past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, so it's George Washington's birthday it's today. It's George Washington's birthday. And, you know, he really didn't chop down the cherry tree. Or he really <laughs> didn't tell the truth about it, one or the other. But he had a wonderful publicist, <laughs> apparently, Frank. Yeah. Maybe the best ever. And, of course, yeah. the um, the press was mighty vicious back then, uh, as uh, <laughs> contrary to what you might think. They were pretty pretty mean-spirited back then, yeah. and he was uh, uh, not universally loved, but he was pretty universally respected. Well, <laughs> and and he, he was one of the biggest whiskey makers in the country at the time, too. I mean, did you know that? Virginia. I mean, that, yeah. That's why, the, did you know that you can't buy alcohol on election day because it used to be whoever had the most whiskey usually won the usually election. Usually won, yeah. Back in the good old days, that's <laughs> yeah. how it was. Well, yeah. he had lots. He had lots, yes. I, <laughs> no, he was well respected. I, I just, he, uh, He's pretty um, Pretty amazing man. Have you ever been to Mount Vernon? No, I have not. Oh man, I wish, I do wish we could fund a trip that everybody could go to see Mount Vernon because it is something. And to see the, um, like Jefferson is often touted as being well rounded, so was Washington. Mm -hmm. And his home is evidence of that. So I wish we could do that. My friends, uh, Shane Seeley at Wide Awake Films, are doing. Um, films on Washington and Mount Vernon, so maybe we'll share those with you sometime. Yeah. Anyway, lots of stuff today. Stay with us. Watch Ag AM in Kansas online at agamincansas.com.